If you want to help support our channel, head over to Patreon and become a VIP member today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Shotcast Saturday. Ooh, Where's the thing? <laughs> yeah, we love the weekend, man, especially Saturday. Saturday is a beautiful day. Oh, Get yeah. Sleep late. Don't have to go to work and shit. At least I don't. You got so. shit to do. Oh. Yeah, man. It's Saturday, man. Podcast. That's right. So welcome to the Guns and Radio Podcast, Shotcast Saturday. As you can see, we're being joined today by Jeff, Mason, and Bailey. And if you uh, saw us on Sunday, we reviewed You Can't Put Your Arms Around a Memory by Duff McKagan. We had a really good show, especially considering we didn't have shit to talk about. We came in early. Yeah. This is the format. <laughs> I showed up late. <laughs> this is the format for the whole Better fucking late show. Better never, man. That's it. That's all we had to go on. So You're just like, oh yeah, Molly Crew song and like some other shit. And that was it. Yeah, one of them was I play the teaser for the upcoming vlog, which hopefully is out by now, with where me and Rick go see some forty one, and uh, we're gonna be playing that teaser here again in just a moment because we are shameless when it comes to Ooh. advertising shit. Plug your shit. Plug your shit. Yeah. You oh plug fuck your yeah. Shit. Bitch. All day, all day long, yeah. plugging shit. All that's uh, plug plugs, that's, all kinds of plugs. <laughs> plug we plug, uh, we plug, you plug, I plug your mama, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it is what it is. Look, what ha it happened once in the '80s. Okay, get over it. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we talked about oh, like Molly Crew that. Oh yeah, that's right. Shotcast Sap. All right, now I'm going to get this trailer out of the way. So check this out, and if the video's up, uh, then go watch the video. If not, hit subscribe and ring that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as it is. Let's take a look at the quick teaser video for my upcoming vlog with Rick or the one that's already out. I don't know. Hopefully yeah. it's already out. You too. But either way, check this out. Yeah, that's happening. Oh yeah. Rick's Check always dressed like he, Rick's always dressed like he's ready to break into somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Years of practice, uh, you know. I told him, man, I walking around in the before. <laughs> storage locker once, maybe. <laughs> uh, like this, like, <laughs> I told him walking around here in the suburbs in a black hoodie with his hood up and shit and like looking all so and then Dugging That's down, special. hiding under shit, waiting on me to come home, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks suspect as hell. But <laughs> Very. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, though, that scene where he's ducked down and hiding behind the trash can, that does not work out well for him. And you'll see why in the uh, full video. So, Wait, so how long was he out there waiting for you to get home? It was a minute, about like maybe 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, but uh, how we far got is some, the drive for him? Uh, eight hours. Oh well, then you know he he made good time. Let him. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, so today we're going to be checking out our song of the day. This is "Listen" by Izzy Stradlin from the Fire Acoustic album. And if I'm looking at the ratings database. I am not optimistic. Well, we've been giving them half-ass ratings. So. There's like one or two okay songs from this album. Yeah. Uh, yeah then, well lined up? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I, I know what. I got this, bruh. Bruh. I, I got this, bruh. I like it, bruh. Uh, anyway, let's take a listen to this. This is from Fire, the acoustic album. And uh, this fucking better be good. That's all I got to say. I don't listen, I don't wanna I'm gonna do it the way that I wanna I don't listen, I ain't gonna I'm gonna do it the way that I do 
somebody asked me something about Guns N' Roses, I'm like, yeah, we talked about it on their podcast, and that's usually their answer. I don't listen. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I ain't gonna. <laughs> I ain't gonna. But they'll subscribe to be nice, and that's all that matters. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Why don't you be nice and click that subscribe button? Subscribe, dude. I rode the damn bus when I was 10 years old. You know, I was waiting to do this bit, but the Greyhound bus line just kind of set me over the side here. So I'm going to share uh, my screen here. And we're going to do the bit where we play some of the song alongside of a 90s intro to see how well it, uh, uh, see how well it sinks. I'll up. never live this down. <laughs> <laughs> it is fitting. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, well, hold it closer, Tony Danza. Oh, Tony Danza. Who plays Tony in everything? <laughs> oh, hey, it's the old chick from Facts of Life. Yeah. Somehow she's still old. Listen, Milano. Yeah, oh, yeah, she was on this show. Holy shit. Oh, my Budweiser. Budweiser. I thought that was a fake <laughs> egg. Oh, yeah, by Budweiser. Yeah, this, this this show was written under the influence of... Yeah, All Blake right. Sunger. <laughs> Girls would be a fake one. Yeah. That definitely fit. It yeah, reminds, that me of fit. That, uh, reminds me of that baseball player named Coco Chris. Like, it's that... Oh, yeah. Big, big, it yeah. sounds like a fake name, but it actually is someone's name. Who did he play for? Uh, San Francisco or the Padres? I, I think it was Cleveland or Oakland. Okay. He played for, he played for a couple teams. Yeah, he's a real dude. Yeah, he's real. <laughs> <laughs> he exists. I don't know, man. That's as close <laughs> to a compliment as you're getting on this show. He going to do it the way he do. Dog, this is definitely puppy. a road trip song. Aw. Puppy. Aww. Puppy yeah, dog. Puppy dog. This is Slash. I give that dog, puppy dog five stars. Oh, wow. So your dog's name is Slash? Oh, look yeah. at him being such a good boy. He wants attention and kisses. How old's puppy dog? Oh, uh, he, He's probably about nine. I'd have to look for sure, but I think he's about nine or ten. Years? Aww. Yeah. Oh, him an Aww. old boy. Him an older puppy. Anyway, I got sidetracked. Something more interesting than the song. Yeah, Respect to the dogs, man. Respect to the dogs. Oh, man. I have more faith yeah. in dogs than I do humanity. Yeah, I got a dog, too, but I try to keep him away from the show yeah, so we don't piss off Jake anymore. No, no I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't talking. Hey, you got some cats somewhere, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, and some cats. Plenty of cats. They're actually He's watching. He's roaming around that forest. I'll say. They're actually in our studio audience right now. Oh, no. No, he was being too good. He's got to walk into the shot. There he goes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this show's boring me. I'm going to get something to eat. Do you like the show, Cheese Ball? I don't listen. I don't want I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are producer, man. What the hell? Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty much. He's, he's picking the songs. <laughs> yeah, the cat's <laughs> picking the songs. Yeah, he's just literally giving us the, the, the direction. That's it. What's funny is during COVID, I was I was interviewing somebody for a job, and they were not doing well. And uh, I didn't have my, mic my camera on, but I was always sitting in front of my computer ready to turn the camera on if I needed to. And so the cat during COVID just sat right here, my little assistant, every day. So I'm sitting here doing this job interview with the cat sitting right here. The guy wouldn't do it so well, so I'm making faces like this, and I go... <laughs> Like he said something just totally stupid. And I go like this and I go and I look at the cat and he goes and he looks at me like and he like kind of half closed his eyes like and I was like, I know, I'm thinking it too, boy. And, <laughs> and then we like, <laughs> turn back to the screen. The guy just keeps on talking. And uh I would have I would have offered him a job anyway, but after he hung up with us instead of disconnecting the call, he started turning on anime. And then he and then he sat there and watched anime for like five minutes. And we're not supposed to disconnect it, you know. 
Like we're supposed to be. Do you have any further questions for it? But then the fucker turns on anime. Like why? <laughs> and didn't even just turn it on. Just turn the volume up. <laughs> oh my god! So you didn't hire this guy because he enjoys watching anime in his free time? No, I enjoy. I didn't hire this guy because this motherfucker couldn't stop watching his hentai long enough to do the fucking job interview. That's why I didn't. Oh my god! I thought you. Oh, I thought you said it was over. I guess the tentacles are too alluring. No, all he did was turn up the volume. Like this motherfucker uh, was still watching this the whole no. interview. No, he was watching it during the during the interview with oh no volume. God. Yeah, and he had his cam on, so I could have sworn I saw something moving in the background, and it was like the reflection on the on the on the wall behind him of the light changing and shit. Because you know how well, he's real flashy. Well, here's the real question: Was he watching subbed or dubbed? I don't fucking remember. Me and my boss, my boss messaged me because she was in the interview too, and. uh so we finally, I was like, permission to disconnect, and she was like, hang it up. So I hung it up, and then we got together for our post-interview meeting. Like, what did you think? She And the first things out of her mouth as soon as me and her connected was, well, that was a fucking waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been uncomfortable. <laughs> Very. Yeah, yeah. It's best to turn the TV off if you're doing a job <laughs> yeah. interview. Yeah, turn it off. Maybe, yeah, turn, uh, maybe turn your poor choices of porn off too, as well. Yeah, maybe not be laying on your bed, on yeah. your stomach. I assure you, during COVID, it will still be there when you're done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He could have been watching One Piece, and you know, you don't His have enough lifetime. Will still be stuck in the laundry machine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, here we go. You know what this is making me think of? You know that episode of Metalocalypse where uh, they learn to play the blues? No. Anybody? I haven't gone I've that never far watched it. I know what the show is, but I've never watched it. No. Oh, anyway, new Metalocalypse full-length movie is available now on uh, on uh, Max. HBO Max, yeah. Oh, Jeff's oh. got an Izzy Stradlin pick. That's the pick oh, he used to play this. Oh, yeah. It's on eBay, thirty million. If your ass gets thirty million for that pick, and then don't split nothing for advertising it on my show, I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. Yeah. All right, you, you guys will get one half of one percent. Yeah, you, he's gonna one be our, half our, of one percent. We're gonna be your sugar. <laughs> if you, if you, if you get, I half think a percent we, of thirty million is still a lot of money. So I think we could all. Money. I think you could <laughs> sling all five of us a meal. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's actually listen for a minute. I don't want That's our problem. That's my answer to that. <laughs> That's the basis of the show. We don't oh, yeah. It. Yeah, Sean got started. The songs were like, I don't want to listen to these, but we it, have to. Izzy it. baited us with this song by naming it Listen, because I was sitting here thinking it's going to be a song about listening, and he's just singing about how he don't want to listen. Yeah, I know. It's the old bait and <laughs> switch. God damn. Fucking Izzy. All right, guys. Now, that's the end of the song. So we're going to get into something critical here that we need to do. Caputo, why don't you read us the lyrics of this, Jim? Oh, and... unfortunately, I couldn't find the lyrics for this one. But uh, they're pretty clear, at least this time. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's making a point. I don't listen. <laughs> I felt like, wasn't there a verse in there? Or was I not Something, I, uh, verses. I, I, I forgot it. Course, yeah, I, don't I forgot remember. them a second. There My were a couple whole... verses. My whole review is going to be based on what little bit I did listen to, unfortunately. And it was, I, I did, I, I did listen. Okay. I didn't want to, but I did. And, uh, <laughs> you know, um, actually I'm gonna go ahead and just say what I think about it. I liked it. I thought the little blues thing it had going on was pretty fucking cool. And, um, uh, I like, I like, I kind of liked this one as far as like the melody and shit went. I thought it was a, uh, you know, pretty solid. I give it a, I'll give it a two out of five. I'd right, put it right in the middle. If you liked it, you put it right down on the bottom half, though. Well, what do you think? Oh, me, man. I dug it, man. It, it, it gets you right from the beginning, a nice little hook. And then, um, you know, it's got some slide guitar on it, a little southern rock influence, like the Brothers or maybe like uh, Skinner or something like that. I dug it, man. I'll give it three and a half. No, I'll give yeah. it three, 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 three quarters out of five, dude. I dug it. And oh, it's busy, good. man. 
I did dig it. I mean, that, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Who wants to go next? I'm going to go with Frost because this is the most interesting <laughs> video happening right now. Uh, no, I thought it was fun. Uh, just like a fun, upbeat kind of little bob along. I thought the lyrics were pretty funny. The chorus, at least. I didn't. I don't know what the verses were, but the chorus was fun. Uh, so, I, yeah, I'd probably say, like, I'd probably give it a, I'd say three out of five. Three out of five. All right. Mason's got a nip flip going on, man. Yeah, I noticed that. Was see it. Showing, was up, showing it all off, bro. Showing it all off, man. Let it go. Subscribe to the OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> for the for for the one guy out there that still thinks Mason's a chick, don't report this, please. Onlyfans.com slash frost. Add my add my premium snap. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A month. <laughs> He'll send you all the nip pics you want for thirty bucks a month. You know what? So will I, for that matter. Always for one hour a second. No, he, he's got class. It's fifty bucks a month. And a referral. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll I'll send butthole pics. You send money. <laughs> They're very tasteful butthole pics. Yeah. He puts a party hat on his ass. I saw. He it makes it look like the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, he puts a party I'll... hat on his ass. Now, how he's blowing the thing, you yeah. don't want to know. You, you don't want to. My just, favorite one was with the birthday cake and Santa Claus hat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yeah. been a loyal customer. So, <laughs> <laughs> who was it? I was just talking about cake farts on the internet with. <laughs> Yeah, that was the I'll thing. I'll do, I'll do I'll do that one chick was doing where she was farting in the jars and sending them to people. Yeah, those fart fetish videos. <laughs> it's like your bath water, man. You could at least get a grand. I seen um, Howard Stern did a thing where he bought one of the fart jars, and then he brought in Richard Christie and Sal to open it and smell it on the air. And then they did a whole drum roll, and uh, they all took bets on what was going to happen, if Richard was going to gag or what. Then they did a whole drum roll, and he smelled it, and it was like, yeah, there's nothing in there, dude. <laughs> like, it's just not. a jar. <laughs> like, it don't smell money. like anything. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so fucking weird, though. Either <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah. Uh, Bailey, you want to go next? Sure. Uh, anytime a uh, Izzy song can be turned into a TV show uh, theme <laughs> is good with me. Uh, but as far as this song, I think it was okay. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite, you know. But uh, it wasn't boring. I think the worst songs ever are like just boring songs. And this certainly yes. wasn't boring, even if the lyrics were just very simple. Uh, but I thought it was okay. Uh, I'd say 2.75 to like a 3. So. Oh, there you go. That's some pretty high praise there. All right. I didn't think I was insulting the song by giving it a 2. I, I, so far, I'm the lowest. But what do you say, Chris? Hmm. I'm going to go probably three out of five. It's an enjoyable little ditty. And, um, you know, when you pair with who's the boss, that's like, you know, <laughs> chef's kiss. Um, but we all know Angelo is the boss. So they're spoiler alert. Um, there you go. And I think Izzy knows that too, especially with the song. He just knew. He's like, listen, you, you're not going to want to listen, but you have to listen because y'all got to know Angelo is the boss. So, But he don't listen to Suck it. on that, Tony Danza. That's the point of the At song. At least Elton John wrote a new- song about you. It's gonna be a new GNR meme. This song, I feel. I don't listen. <laughs> is it in our management's response to everything? <laughs> <laughs> when they actually have to pay Izzy Stradlin to use this song, but they don't want to. Oh, can't man. share money evenly. That's what they told listen, Izzy. Team like, Brazil. Time to get paid. <laughs> yeah. Just give the man five That's bucks. Two point nine it's average money. for the song between the five of us. Oh, yeah, nice. Dustin Ooh, rated three. it so low. Jeff's our new statistician on the show. There All you right. go. Jeff Math. Yeah. Carry the one, denominator four. Um, yeah, square root of 69. Somebody get my abacus. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Jeff gets, gets the photo every time he talks. That's right. We're paying him in photos. 